Peace, peace, fam. It's Naima J back with another video. I appreciate all the love, all the support, and we're gonna keep this thing going. So today, I am cooking with sea moss gel. Um, there are a lot of recipes that you could throw this thing in. Like, I don't want you to think that you just have to take it in a smoothie. And I don't want you to think that you just gotta take it by itself. You can put it in your foods, your soups, your teas. Um, yeah, and make it taste good. So, <laughs> and just know that you're getting your nutrients. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm making spinach. It's about 3.37 and I'm hungry and I wanna eat some vegetables. So um, I'm gonna show you how I cook my sea moss gel. So I'm making spinach right now, saute spinach. So I'm gonna use my wok, get a wok. If you don't have a wok, get a wok. I'm telling you, it will save your life, okay? Um, I got mine from Ikea, so I think it was like $9.99 a couple years ago. It's still hanging, you know what I mean? When you are cooking with a wok, make sure that you have either a wooden utensil or um, a rubber utensil. You do not want to use any type of stainless steel to mix anything with it. You don't want to cut it around, nothing like that, because you don't want that in your food. It's very toxic. Make sure it's a rubber handle or wooden utensils. Okay, boom. So, I'm going to saute my spinach in the wok. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a little bit of grapeseed oil. When you're using grapeseed oil, grapeseed oil is good for frying and sauteing. Olive oil is good too. The smoke index is different, meaning the heat, so how it cooks in different heats, what it, you know, how, what it does to the food, or how it'll taste um, more. One smoke point is higher than the other, so olive oil will burn faster than a grapeseed, but grapeseed oil is great for frying and sauteing. Just put it out there. Olive oil to me is more like something you wanna put on your, um, your salad, you know what I mean? Um, excuse me, if it may seem though, I'm whispering a little bit. Little mama, got a four year old, she's asleep, taking a nap, and I'm trying to get this done, okay? <laughs> and enjoy my meal before she come and try to interrupt everything I got going on. So, um, I've already heated up my wok, I put my oil in, inside of it. So, here goes my spinach. You like, it's a big old bowl, right? Mm. That's a big old bowl, right? But you y'all already know what happened with spinach. This look like this could feed a whole, uh, a whole jungle, right? And then by the time you finish cooking it, it's good enough to feed an ant. You know what I'm saying? You be like, I be so pissed, I be so mad. But anyway, get spinach in here. Holy spinach. Oh, I need some water. I just use a little bit of water, just a little bit. I'm trying to, is this light? How is this lightning? It's kind of light. <laughs> You want to make sure it's covered up with all. You want to make sure the oil covers all the spinach leaves up. So comment below if y'all cook, how y'all cook your spinach, <laughs> different ways, give me different options. And also comment below what y'all use y'all see my shelf for, how y'all cook or integrate y'all see my shelf in y'all food. Other than the smoothie. Okay, so now as that's heating up, I also have some red peppers out the window. Okay. Just kind of like warm them up. I like my crunchy. So as that's warming up, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna start seasoning it. So this is my pink Himalayan salt, like one, two, three, four, five. That's it, you don't need a whole bunch of salt. You do not need a whole bunch of salt. Don't need a whole bunch of salt. Got it. Garlic powder, love me some garlic powder. Especially in a cold time. I'll clear up some things in the throat. The parsley. Seasoning is key when you're going from a, uh, when you're going to a meatless, vegetarian, vegan, plant-based food. Uh, lifestyle seasoning is key. Cilantro, my lemon pepper, just a new one. Just a little bit. Get a little tangy when you eat a little tang, you know. Onion powder, and then of course, you stir it around. And then, sea moss gel. So this is my sea moss gel. I don't know if this is focusing on that. I'm 
trying to see. Oh, there it is, there it is. This is my infused sea moss gel. I have my sea moss gel available, infused and regular, on my website at Naima J, N A I M A J A Y dot com. I use the infused, my personal brand, my personal, it's the infused. I love the infused. Um, the infused is about relax, relaxation. <laughs> Agitation, stress, anxiety. It's infused with an herb that helps you to just woosa as you just start your day in the middle of your day, whenever you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Serve a size of two tablespoons, whenever you feel like you want to take it. Okay, there's no such thing as too much. So, two tablespoons of the gel. This is after um, it's been in the refrigerator and it makes it into a nice gelatin. So. Two tablespoons. I'm gonna see if I can bring the camera close here to see what happens. So what happens is tablespoon one, two. So what happens is I'm gonna bring it up closer. Let's see how this works. There it is. There it is. So as you can see, here is the gel. And as the gel, this is the gel. And as it um, gets warm, it melts. It melts. So as I stir it around, it'll just melt into your food. You mix it up really well. And it just melts down. So you can't even see it, but you know what's in there. Let's see if I can bring it out for you a little bit. So as I stir fry it, it's now like evaporated into the food. So you have your infused sea moss and your spinach. So you have spinach with red bell peppers and sea moss. And this is your meal. This is my meal, my lunch. And it's just that simple. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be so intricate. It's so simple, just like that. There you go. <laughs> so let me know if you learned anything, any extra new tricks or any new tips to how you to eat or consume your sea moss gel. Comment below about how you cook yours, how you eat yours, do you like yours, do you like the taste, do you like the smell. Also like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos of me sharing you more health tips and tricks. I really, really want to say thank you and much love, light, and respect for all the supporters, for the subscribers on my channel. Um, it means a lot. I'm so grateful. I'm excited. And um, yeah, stay tuned. More videos to come. Peace, peace. Peace, light, and love, fam. Peace.